Back here in Johannesburg, the city is planning to relocate survivors of the deadly Marshalltown building fire to a site identified as ideal for temporary emergency accommodation. But those plans are being opposed by communities near this site. The uh, survivors were moved to several shelters after the disaster. Let's go to senior reporter Slinda Romasigani, who joins us now uh, for more. Uh, Sli, we know that you spoke to uh, MMC uh, Kenigunene. He addressed the community members who are objecting uh, about this relocation. So I guess it's not happening for today, or is it not happening ever? Well, for now, it seems that the relocation uh, is not happening for now in the very least. We do know that a court order um, that uh, instructed the city to find alternative accommodation uh, for those who were displaced by the Marshalltown fire was actually supposed to come in effect today, uh, where we would have seen uh, at least 139 people who are being housed at the Brixton Recreational Center uh, relocated to a plot in the south of Johannesburg, where I am right now, on Swarkopi's Road. Now, from what we understand, the communities in this area were not consulted about this relocation and were also uh, surprised uh, to receive news of this court order that was directing that uh, those victims be placed in this particular plot. Now, uh, you'll see behind me, um, our colleague Mbuzeni will show you that this is the plot uh, that was identified um, by the Joburg Property Company, uh, which owns this plot. Uh, this was one of two plots that was put up by the Joburg Property Company to the court to say we can move those displaced victims to this area. Um, however, as you can see in front of you, it's certainly uninhabitable. There are no ablution facilities, there's no water, there's no electricity. Um, and so uh, it certainly doesn't make sense to move those victims to this particular plot. But what was really concerning the residents here was the fact that there was no consultation process that uh, took place uh, and that uh, the relocation was essentially being forced upon them. Uh, and they were concerned about the issue around around um, the possible uh, rising levels of crime, um, the devaluation of their properties, um, and they're just really upset at the fact that this move was going to take place without, without their consent. So what they did this morning was to barricade Swarkopi's Road uh, here in the south of Johannesburg for most of the morning from around uh, 6 a.m. Um, we had uh, JMPD officials coming out and the residents were adamant that they were not going to move from the road until they were uh, going to be addressed by an official from the city, uh, as well as a letter to confirm that the relocation was not going to take place. So we saw um, MMC Kenikunene coming out uh, to allay their fears and to confirm that the relocation wouldn't be taking place, uh, which is why now the road has been reopened. Let's take a listen. Now, I am here to assure you, uh, deployed uh, by the mayor and the MMC of Human Settlement, we are having a meeting from 9 up until 4 o'clock. All the MMCs are there. Uh, so I was asked to come here so that I can be able to assure you that uh, there is no squatter camp that was going to come here. Uh, there was going to be a temporary structure. Yeah. Now. 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 Yes. Now. Now. We. 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 We engaged. We engaged with legal, and uh, we have agreed that we have agreed that that temporary structure will not come here because the community is not happy with it. 
Mm, and understandably, Slee, because community members in that area actually pay uh, a lot of money for their bonds. But at the same time, at the end of the day, there has to be some sort of relocation for those people who uh, almost died in that building. So what's the Human Settlements Department of the city saying about that? So from what we understand, the Human Settlements Department from the city of Johannesburg is going to go back to court uh, to explain that this particular plot uh, is uh, uninhabitable for the victims of that Marshalltown fire, but that they are looking at alternative arrangements. Uh, but at this point, of course, the relocation then uh, certainly remains up in the air. We don't know when it's going to take place, meaning that those 139 uh, victims that are being housed at the Brixton Recreational Centre will remain there uh, until alternative arrangements are, are going to be made. But what we do know is that the city is adamant that the relocation won't be taking place here in the south of Johannesburg. We spoke to one of those uh, officials from the department. Let's take a listen. So in the process of defending this court case brought by the NGO, um, and, and the residents, well, the occupants, I don't know if you can even call them residents, um, in the process of defending this, uh, an alternative site had to be found. So Joburg Property com Company came and they said that they've got these parcels of land um, and that was entered into the court record and that became part of the order. And it was only after the order was given that it emerged that this is probably not a very suitable area. There's a lot of reasons for that. And for that reason, um, we have to relook at where these people are going to go. The fact is they have to go somewhere, but it's it's very clear that um, this Patlin site is, is not going to work. Um, and you can understand the, the anger that the community uh, had towards this, but we do have to reassure them that they've got nothing to worry about. Um, the matter's being revisited. All right, Slinda Lomasigani, our senior reporter on the relocation of those who survived the deadly fire in Marshalltown back in August. We'll catch up with you later.